Hello everyone, I'm Lothar Ngayodan and I'm here to share a basic information regarding LPG fire safety. So in our activity, we'll be using the LPG tank with the regulator, our safety gloves, our lighter, and our detergent soap that it will be presented later on. So we'll be using this in our activity. But before going to this one, I would like to inform that in order for us to produce a fire, it is very important that we should know the triangle of fire. The triangle of fire composed of the following. We have the oxygen, we have the fuel, and we have the heat. If those three components are present, then we can now produce a fire. But in order for us to suppress the fire, we are just going to remove at least one of the component of the triangle of fire. And we are now going to apply that in the case of our LPG fire safety management activity or demonstration. Now in the case of the LPG or the liquefied petroleum gas, and it is also known as the liquefied natural gas. So before, the LPG, the content is odorless and colorless gas. And that is the combination of profane and the butane. But problem arises because the content it is an odorless and colorless gas. Accident may happen. That's why they add now a chemical known as the ethyl mercaptan. The ethyl mercaptan produces a very irritating smell. So in the case of the LPG fire safety management, it is very important for us that we can determine the smell of our LPG so that we can now determine if there is a leakage in our tank so that we can now prevent possible accident later on. So by the time that we are going now to enter in our residential houses or our room and if we smell the LPG then it is very important that we should know the things that we are going to do. To avoid the possible explosion, do not use your cell phone. Do not switch on the light. Do not switch on the electric fan. What will be the best thing that we are going to do? Ventilate the area. Open the window, the door, and search now the LPG tank. Then if we can close, then we are now going to close. Then next, just in case, within the LPG tank, you are now trying to cook some foods. So how can we determine if there is a leakage? We need to put some detergent soap in a suspected area that there is a leakage. So this is how we are going to do it. We need to put now the detergent soap and try to observe if there is a bubbles that is being produced. If there will be a bubbles, so it means that there is a leakage on our LPG tank or hose or regulator. So let us now try to observe. So we observed that this there is already a leakage. So bubbles is now being produced within our regulator area. So try now to observe this part. So it means that there is a leakage in our regulator. In the cases of our LPG hose, we need to put 
and detergent soap also in the suspected area. And if we observe the same, if bubbles is being produced, it means that there is a leakage. And we need to change our regulator or our LPG hose. So that is how we are going to determine. How we are now going to manage if this will be the situation. So we need to perform it this to be done until we are going now to reach the lab. Then close. And the of this, we need to see. going to use the tower and we are now going now to check off the heat cooker okay so in our short presentation hopefully that you have learned something about the basic of LPG fire safety management so this basic information, I learned this when I undergo training conducted by the Bureau of Fire Protection and I'm just going to share. Especially, this is very important. This is common problem that we have observed. We do not, or some of us, lack of information as to the LPG fire safety management is concerned. So again, be reminded as to the safety, always consider in we need to check our regulator, the hose, if there is possible damage, how we are going to check. We are now going to use a detergent soap and try now to observe if there is a reaction, a possible bubbles. And just in case there is already a fire, then we need to consider the safety. We should use a gloves or a piece of or a cloth in if we are now going to shut off the knob and we can use also a towel if we don't have the gloves or other materials so we can use as we presented so those are the basic that we need to know especially in the residential areas and i encourage everyone that we are also going to share also the basic information as to the LPG fire safety is concerned. So actually the LPG it will not easily explode. The LPG tank it will only explode if it will be under extreme temperature. And just in case it if it will be in extreme temperature this portion will be the one to give up. This part so it will explode. It is not like a hand grenade that this will act as a shrapnel. No. Unless that there are some damaged part of the LPG tank, then that's the time that it will give up. So the content of the LPG, once it will be exposed in extreme temperature, will try now to look for the weak area of the LPG tank. And that's the time that it will explode. Or if there is a leakage in the room and it will be confined in the area and there is a exposure as to the flame or some of the electrical connections, that's the time that it will explode. So again, with this basic information, hopefully that it will guide us later on. And we are going to continue sharing some basic information as to the safety is concerned in our incoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe in our video for additional information. So the next video that we are going to present is as to the use of the fire extinguisher. So that's all and thank you very much.